Hey, what's up you guys? It's Nathan Lucas and if this is your first time here on my channel, uh, definitely consider subscribing if you want more videos on entrepreneurship, marketing mindset and motivation. That's what this channel is all about. But for this video, let's jump right into this. Uh, and we're talking about The War of Art by Steven Pressfield. This uh, book, uh, it's not that much of a read uh, as far as how big it is. It's about 165 pages. It didn't take me that long to read it, uh, but I highly recommend this. If you are striving for something in your life at all, uh, I definitely recommend reading this book because in striving for something, you're going to have resistance against reaching that goal or striving for what you want in your life. And that's what this video, or that's what this, this book is all about, is how to combat that resistance. And this video actually, or video, this book actually identifies things that are uh, resistance in our life. And I wanna talk to you a little bit about some of the things that I got out of this book that I think that you can get value uh, out of and some things um, that I just wanna share with you. So. Uh, the first thing that I wanted to, to look at here was that um, he talks about uh, resistance being in many different forms. And really, I want to tell you what really he defines resistance as, okay? Uh, he basically says it's negative repelling force and its aim is to shove us away, distract, uh, or prevent us uh, from doing our work. And that's what this entire book is all about is getting you, getting us to do our work. Now, what your work is, I don't know. And you know, neither does he in here, and he specifies that your work can be many different things. You know what you need to be doing, and if you don't know, you know, he didn't really talk about that in too much, if at all, in this, this book is, um, he talks about doing your work and resistance and the things that you can, uh, do to overcome the resistance, but if you don't know what your work is, um, that's something in you know a whole nother book in it of it of itself. Is you need to figure out what your passion is. What are you here for? What is your purpose? All right, and really, if you don't know what your purpose is, I wouldn't recommend reading this book uh, because this book is gonna. It talks about you know, combating the resistance and really just getting to work every single day on your passion, on your purpose. So if you don't know what your, your purpose is, definitely figure out what your purpose is and then go ahead, once you figure that out, then read this book. So one of the things that I thought may be controversial for a lot of people uh, would be one of the things that he says is resistance. And I'll tell you, I agree with him. Uh, but let me tell you what it is, and that is sex. I've been really okay, he says that sex is a resistance uh, for you to do your work. Now, I want to tell you why he says that, because I know right off the bat, some people may say, what? That is not a resistance. And here's why it is a resistance. I won't read it straight out of the book, but basically what he says is that sex gives us instant gratification and so it makes us feel good and we feel validated which makes us feel good and it is a resistance which distracts us from doing what we need to do now he also does say that not all sex is you know a res is resistance right so it's not like oh you had sex period uh, that's going against holding you back from achieving your dreams or you know um striving for from doing the work that you need to be doing every single day but I do tend to agree with him that sometimes sometimes when we know that we should be working towards our goals uh, working towards our dreams maybe we decide to to have sex instead you know and or our mind may think about that and I, I think that in reality happens quite often for a lot of people. You know, obviously I don't know uh, the intimacies of people, people's specific lives, but I, I absolutely believe that it can be. So uh, let me tell you a couple other uh, things that he talks about could be resistance would be procrastination could be a resistance. 
uh, drugs, shopping, sex, alcohol, anything that can take your mind and you out of the game of what you need to be doing to move, to do your work. And your work is your purpose, right? So uh, I thought that was awesome. Uh, another thing that he talked about is um, fear. And I think this is one of the biggest things in this book is when he talks about fear, all right? Because he talks about it specifically and then he also relates fear uh, being you know, viewed two different ways, one by an amateur and then one by a professional. And the amateur looks at fear and thinks that they have to overcome fear for them to do their work, right? And then the professional knows that they're never going to overcome fear and they just do their work in spite of having fear. And I absolutely agree with that because I know that chasing your dreams and doing things that make you feel like you're afraid, sometimes that's never going to go away. So if you think that you have to overcome that feeling of fear before you start doing your work, you might be working on overcoming that, which is a resist it's resistance because it's distracting you from doing what you need to do so if you need to do your work but in order to actually do that work you're afraid and instead of doing the work you're now working on the fear that's associated with doing that work so in in reality it absolutely can be a distractor so uh, another thing that I wanted to talk about was what fear is and he specifies this um, towards the end of the book, and I think it's it's so good uh, what he says about fear. Okay, and basically, what are people afraid of? What are what are you afraid of in doing your work? And so I want to read you uh, basically what he he says here, and it touches on just a lot of different things. So he basically says fear of the of consequences. Of following our heart so maybe we feel we feel more vulnerable right um, fear of bankruptcy poverty fear of failing and coming right back to where we started uh, fear of betraying uh, our race our hood or homies <laughs> uh, fear of failure uh, fear of looking ridiculous throwing away our education and these you guys are just some examples and then also he talks about uh, fear that we will succeed, right? And uh, he says, you know, that we can become the person we sense in our hearts we truly are. And, you know, I think that this is one of the best, you know, one reason why I really highly recommend you read this book is because he talks about fear in here. And I think that that is what holds so many people back. Whether you know whether you think that fear holds you back or not, I know that you're human, so you deal with fear, right? There's not a single person that I believe doesn't deal with fear, and I think that's just what comes along with how you know what we've had ingrained in our minds is you know most of us are looking for approval and external approval. And so what happens when we're looking for an external approval is we fear rejection. We fear uh, being ridiculed. We fear people thinking that we're, you know, just ridiculous. And then we fear that we're going to fail. And then what? And then people are going to make fun of us. They're going to laugh at us. And not even that, maybe we just fear that we're going to do it all for nothing. And then we're going to go right back to where we were. And so why did we venture out and start this to begin with? So you guys, I think fear is one of the you know the biggest thing that holds people back from doing their work from doing what they're supposed to be doing you guys so uh, i definitely i highly recommend this book there are some spirituality things in here i'm, I'm not going to touch on those but you know you can you can read those and check them out for yourself i thought some of it made sense to me uh, maybe some really didn't, whatever. I uh, still highly recommend this book because really it's going to get you into action. That's what I believe this book is for is because, you know, it's to get the dreamers not to stay in dreaming mode, but to get them in doing. 
don't just be a dreamer, be a doer. And you know, most people die not knowing if they could have achieved their dreams and all they had to do was do the work. You know, and one th you know, one thing that I always say is that there's one thing standing between you and your dream life and that is the work that you still have yet to put in. So, you guys, The War of Art, I definitely recommend it. If you haven't picked it up, I'll leave an affiliate link to Amazon down below if it is available there. So, you guys, I recommend checking it out. It was a quick read, it's a good read, and it's gonna get you into action towards your dreams. And I think that's what this life is about, is finding our purpose and pursuing it with a passion. So, you guys, this is Nathan with Freedom Influencer. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye for now.